Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bishop Conley High School, the site of today's NJCAA Region 21 matchup between Mass Bay Buccaneers and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Hello, everybody. I'm David Cadoza. Alongside me is Megan Holden, and we're bringing you this game here on a Thursday evening. I want to welcome in our Facebook audience. Thank you, everybody, for watching Bayhawks basketball all season long. We have a good one for you here tonight. Bristol coming in at 9-9. Trying to make it two in a row this week. Trying to advance to 10 and 9 and keep their torna yeah, tournament hopes alive. We're going to set it down in just a few for tonight's starting lineups. With yours truly. Now, what are you looking to see in this game from the Bayhawks? Just a little bit more of what we've seen last game. Some consistency. Um, the way that they um, pounded the boards last game. Especially getting second opportunities from themselves. And... You know, um, and really being patient on the offensive end. So hopefully they'll continue that. And uh, that being said, we'll send it down for tonight's star lineups for today's game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Mass Bay Community College Buccaneers and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Fans, coaches, and players, the NJCAA. Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players to show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Thank you for your cooperation. And now for tonight's starters, first with the visiting Buccaneers. Number zero, Javis. Hill. Number three, Giannis Niatenji. Number 15, Stephen Campbell. Number 22, Mitchell Marizia. And number 23, Marshall Martin. And now for your Bristol Community College. Bayhawks. At forward, a freshman from Somerset, Berkeley. Number 31, Nathaniel Gawanter. At guard, a freshman from Attleboro. Number 22, Proo Pufong. At forward, a freshman from the Washenden School. Number 11, T.J. Henry. At guard, a sophomore from New Bedford, number four, Chad and Gia. And at guard, a sophomore from Grand New Bedford Folk, number one, Stanley Freeman. Bristol is coached by Brian Fernandez, assisted by Clayton Timas and Eric Diaz. Great job, Dave. <laughs> Want to welcome in everybody. Want to welcome in our Facebook audience watching our live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. This all brought to you by all of our friends here at FRC Media. We're getting ready for a tip here between number 11 there for Bristol. Bristol in the white. In the traditional white uniforms yeah. with the green trimming and Mass Bay in a navy blue. I like these. I like these uniforms. Like a little better. Yeah, than well, I'm not feeling not feeling the gray. I feel like mm -hmm. these are traditional Bristol colors, like the green, you know, like you get the dark green and the white. Yeah. Number 23 to jump for Mass Bay. Number 20, yep, Marshall Martin, M&M. Nice. Got a couple M&Ms on there. Mitchell, you know, easy for me to say, Marizia. And number 23, Marshall Martin. And here's a tip. We're underway. We're under, underway from the pressure cooker. <laughs> David Cadoz or Megan Holden on the call. Mommy, take my jacket off. I know. I'm going to start taking layers off. Into the paint. Double team. Good good help defense there by TJ Hendry with the Nathaniel Gilwanter. Chad and Gear in the corner. Before the double nice. team gets there, the three. And Get, it might be his night tonight. Getting off, getting off to a nice start. Freeman rushing to the offense. Give Fina uh, and Gia for a shot there in the corner. Yep, Bristol in 2-3 zone. 
The zone was effective. Last, remember last game, Crystal? Crystal came out with a full court press. They came out with a lot of pressure. Yeah. And, and they, um, they kind of backed off it when the quarter was later on, but it works for them. It, helped it, it definitely helped them in the early going. All right, turnover. There you go, again off to a nice start. I think it's the jerseys. And number 35, I'm sorry, uh, number 23, Marshall Martin with a little push. Do you think it's the, I think it's the jerseys. I think this might be lucky jerseys right here. Anything. I think the gray jerseys were kind of dismal, like but, the weather out there mm -hmm. today. Henry catches it. Nice find. Nathaniel G. The, oh, Ooh. good looking shot. He has to keep trying those. Yeah. Third, welcome to Thursday Night Basketball. Thursday before Valentine's. Let's see if Bristol can get a win. They need it. In the corner, Martin for three is coming off short. And they're they gonna say fall. it's they're gonna say it's white basketball. It's gonna be off Mass Bay. Interesting to see uh this back to back games. We see Nate Jean in the starting lineup. Definitely coming yeah. you. Partner with Henry, too. That's an interesting. Well, he's earned it. He's been there all year, and he's worked hard in practice, and there's a travel. And we call a travel on Pufong. But it's uh, going big here with partnering him up with Henry. One-two punch. Usually you see one, one or the other in the game. Yeah, well, they know they need size on there. They need rebounding. They've been getting beat on the boards a lot in some of these games that we've seen. They've allowed other teams to get second and third chances. Good defense by Bristol, forcing Mass Bay. Another one. Another turnover. Nice. And Bristol's 2-3 zone, effective here in the first couple minutes. They came to play on both sides of the ball tonight, so far. 18. Give it some time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Knock on wood. You're always quick to pull the trigger. Pufong for three. Ooh. Ooh. Pufong was quick to pull the trigger on that one. Almost yeah. went in, though. Well, I feel like if the shot is there, they need to take it yeah, instead, of, to instead of a hesitation. Yes. Especially the, the role players get more comfortable in their scoring. They need more art scoring options besides Angia. Yeah. Freeman. In the corner, jumper. Missed by Merci Mercier. Mercier. Like they're going to call a foul on Nate G. Yep, and uh, Giannis was trying not to screw this name. Nima Tenji. Nia Tenji. Nia Tenji. Talking about names, Garbage Man is coming in. I didn't look yeah, at the Joe Lopes, who has been a starter a lot this season, coming off the bench now. I'm not sure if Nate G's uh, touching that nose quite a bit. I'm not sure if he's bleeding. Going Might have got hit in the nose. Yeah. Nate Tenji, this game is tied now. Three to three. Freeman driving to his left, kicks it back up to Pufong, and... Out of bounds. Stepped on the line. Yeah, I guess he stepped out of bounds on the side over here. Tough to see from our vantage mm -hmm. point, but we're in the early going. Mass Bay Buccaneers have had some good teams in the past. A couple years ago, they made it to the national tournament. They had a nice uh, side of side pass and offense. Yeah, good ball movement yeah. there. Offensive rebound by Mercier, I'm sorry, Marshall Martin. And they're gonna call a foul. The foul's gonna be on TJ Hendry. It's gonna be his first. That just sounds like a basketball name. It does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. TJ yeah. Hendry. Definitely sounds like a sports name. Yes. He was meant for this. Sounds like it could be a wide receiver too, though. Could be. We're not limited to him. He's going to do whatever he wants. <laughs> All right. Nine on the shot clock. Oh, nice pass inside. The turnaround, the little hook. Can't miss. Another offensive rebound for the Bucks. The slip Pufon's uh, hands New shot there. clock. Yeah. Were well, they bringing even, even, more, even more size? Looks like next break. Yeah, with Lopes in there. They get it inside. Bristol does a good job collapsing. Driving as Martin puts it up. Can't get it to go. Freeman, Freeman finally gets the rebound for Bristol. Freeman pushing it up. Freeman like a locomotive. Nice. Goes to the basket. Gets the foul. And he'll go to the line. And one. 
you could uh, he had that, that right on his mind. Gear. Yeah, as soon as he as soon as he got the ball. He had like a little hesitation there, but then he um he put it into second gear. I feel like his uh we don't talk about his speed enough. His speed yeah, to the basket. Freeman. Freeman, when he makes the decision to go to the hole, he puts on that second gear and he can get to the basket and blow by you. And he doesn't let contact really uh, affect him too much. He's he's able to adjust. I like that part of his no, game. No, he's the man. Stanley Freeman. Looking for the three-point play. That's why I call him Stanley Freeman. He gets the three-point play, puts his team up by three, 6-3. Six, three. A little over 16 minutes to uh, play in the first quarter. Krishan Nairn is in for, for Bristol, number 13. In the corner, Martin for three, can't knock it down, and uh, it's going to go off Bristol, it's going to go off Freeman. Wait. I don't know, I think that was the way they went off, off the ref there. <laughs> yeah, you can hear. No, you it went off Freeman. Yeah. It, still, it went off Stanley Freeman. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, because he got hit by the ball. Oh, he got hit yeah. at the end, yeah. Inbound to the basketball is Nimitenji, Niatenji. Trying to get used to saying that name. You can, hear, uh, you can see uh, Coates there communicating with his team defensively, help guide them. Three-pointer by Martin, contested, uh, drains it. I'm not sure And they're going to call that. the foul on Anguilla. I'm not sure about that one. I thought that was well defended by Anguilla. I don't know. He was kind of, yeah, he was all over him. Yeah. Was it pressure so shot? Yeah, that's an yeah, that was an impressive shot. Yeah. He had him all up in his face. Yeah. But he had to elevate over him too, so he definitely well, he's, he could have got size. some I could see why the referee would um call it. Yeah. Well, yeah, Martin's got size. Yeah. Seems like he has a nice electric shot to yeah. follow through. He can go up and over you. He's long and lean. You see if uh they take advantage of that size mismatch uh going forward here. Yeah, we'll see. Mass Bay. Mass Bay appears like they're in 2-3 zone right now. Up 7-6. Ooh, Krishan. Nails nice. it. Nice. They are happy don't to have remember him, him back. Do, don't remember him doing that in the first half of the season. We've seen him knock down a couple threes here the last couple nights. And that was a good-looking shot. Puts his team up by 2, 9-7. He was playing working during the break. Yeah, but sometimes. They come back he, rusty. He, that hasn't no, been the case but for him. Some, no, but sometimes. <laughs> If you're not a shooter, you're not a shooter. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Bristol doing a good job swarming with that zone. Clogging up the middle, and they're going to call it travel. I don't know about that. Marcus Smart has come a long way. I wouldn't even rely on him. Yeah, but like it didn't take him a couple of weeks. It's no. taken him like five yeah. or six years. You see his pregame when he hits the most ridiculous shots ever? I have. Lopes kicks it into the corner. And that's Gia, that's shot. his shot. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded. That by number 22, Mitchell Mercier. That was a good look by the Bayhawks there. You got to keep keep Fina and Gia there in the corner when you can. Yeah, but the Mass Bay, they know that's coming. That's yeah. his shot. Your defense by Bristol. That zone really moving. Martin for three. Nails another one. Yeah, you can't Boy, it looks no like space. he could, it looks like he could rain all day from the outside. Mm -hmm. Bristol going to have to defend that better. I would say don't give him no space, but we saw Gia do this that, and it didn't work, so... Just gotta hope he slows down. 10 9. Mass Bay with the lead. They lob it into Lopes. He gets it, gets it stolen away. That was an iffy pass there by Freeman. We don't really see Freeman make those mistakes. No, he's generally, generally decent with the basketball. Yeah. Going to the basket, kicking it back out. Oh, nice Aww. pass. Nice pass there. Nate G was and sleeping a little bit. Didn't find his man. Left his man alone there under the nice basket. Nice pass, and Nia Tenji with the, with the easy layup. Freeman. Jumper. No good. Nice Gawanter. Nice rips it away. Fight. Good job. <laughs> and Gia thought about it. Kicks it back out. 12 on the shot clock. I like to see Freeman get something going to the basket. And oh. Gia, they're all over him. Yeah, the Bayhawks need to move around. They're just standing still, shuffling a little bit side to side. Long pass, going back the other way. Oh, Nia Tenji nice. gets it blocked by Freeman. 
Nice block there by Freeman. Coming quick back on the offensive side, stop the fast break. Bounce pass underneath, loose ball on the, flo on the floor. Like Kick it to the corner to Martin. The three-pointer, oh, nice. that's his third in the half. Yeah, this is gonna Sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. No, just, it's just his night. 15 and nine. Freeman swings it. Frishon thought about it. Mass Bay just defending the perimeter very well. They yeah. lob it into Lopes. Lopes gets it underneath to Nate G, who draws the foul, and he'll go to the line for two. I would like to see, I said his last game, I said this a couple of times, a um, couple games so far this season. The Bayhawks get caught up and not moving around and just standing still. Looks like they lost offensively a little bit. Like if they go for their first, if their first option doesn't work, they don't really have a backup plan. Yeah, like I said, when the, um, when the Bayhawks have to play, you know, half-court basketball against the zone, you know, sometimes they have, uh, you know, some trouble with that. Now, do you think that's going against a two-three zone in half-court? Now, do you think that's due to maybe this is Freeman's first semester as obviously as point guard running the paint? Do you think it's just, you think it's contributed to that, or do you think it's just? Not I mean, that's a good. That's a good question. Yeah. I just think you know. It's a, it's a it's a thing about the other teammates, you know, like the ball, the, you know, ball movement, and you know, guys getting open. And I would like to see more picks and set up more picks and more cuts. Yeah, they could do all that. Nine, Fifteen and eleven. And let's take a small break here. We'll take a small break here. And we'll bring it back here in just a little bit. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts for Bayhawks basketball on a Thursday night. Thursday night basketball here. Bristol down by four to the visiting Mass Bay Buccaneers. Bristol comes into this contest at nine and nine. They had a the tough. They beat Springfield Tech. Yep. Last night. In a, in a well, when's Tuesday night? Two, nope, Tuesday night. But they to bring their record to 500. And uh, there's four more games on the schedule. They need to win them all. Yes. Four of them, three of them are at home. Well, they need to do a better job playing away, too, because that's what really killed them. The four game, uh, where they were away, they were four games straight, they well, lost Well, they only have one more road game, so. Yeah. But still, when you go to the playoff, if you make Bristol it to the Bristol coming playoff, out defending the, per defending the perimeter. Jumper by number 12, no good. Rebounded by T.J. Hendry. If you make it to the playoffs, you're not going to be able to uh, to play at home here. So you got to learn how to play out of way. Freeman from the top. It's nice. good. Stanley Freeman. Nice release there. Was patient with it. I'd like to see him do a little bit more of that. Yes. Take it upon yourself. 15 to 14. Loose ball on the floor, taking it to the basket, puts it up with the left, and it's good. Yeah, you can just see mass space size right here. It's taking advantage of uh, Javis Hill. They dump it into Lopes. They collapse on him, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Hill. It's not enough, not enough air there. Just could, just didn't get enough on the shot, uh, but Mass Bay defending it well. Mm -hmm. I feel like we talk about Ngia's offensive game, but I feel like we, we don't really talk much about his defensive game. I like how they get it inside to Hill. Loose ball. The put put back attempt, no good. Bayhawks ball. Number 12, Stanley Solomon is in the game. He's a freshman. But like I was saying, I feel like we don't talk enough about Ngia's defensive efforts. Yeah, he's definitely a good defender. Yeah. Doesn't allow much space. Good on, a, good on a ball defense. Yeah, he's definitely good on the ball, and he's quick. Here comes Freeman. Swings it. 
Mass Bay playing good perimeter defense. They're all they're draped all over them. Freeman needs to get something going to the basket. Nice pass and a knee to Hendry. Mass Bay swarming, nice. but Hendry puts it up off the glass and in. I want to see the more of that from, from Hendry. You know he's capable. We get a tight one so far. Hill, step back three, drains it. Wow, with wow. Angia right there. These Mass Bay, this Mass Bay team got three point shooters. And they're hitting contested threes right now. And they're doing it like a, they're hitting contested threes. And they're doing a great job of defending the perimeter like the against Bristol. Freeman crosses over, gets it inside. Henry oh, that was nice contested gets blocked there. by the backboard. Nice contested. Solomon. Took the uh, Mass Bay Warriors a little bit. 2016 with nine and a half minutes to go. Yeah. Bristol in that 2 3 zone. They're playing a good 2 3 zone, but Bucks nice. are just hitting shots. Nice steal there, Freeman. Freeman. Freeman with the turnover. Freeman goes into traffic and. He'll get it. That foul is going to be on Hill. Freeman will go to the line for two. I think Freeman needs to be more aggressive in yes. this game. He needs to assert himself on the offensive end and when, look, look to facilitate a little yeah. bit less. When he, goes, when he goes in the paint, more often than not, he gets the basket or, foul, or the foul. He can get to where he wants yeah. to go. I mean, he had over 20 points last game. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a top scorer. Yeah. He's, the, um, he's a two-year starter for this team. He started in his, freshman, in his freshman season on a team that was the best Bayhawks team in its history. Yeah. Ranked fourth in the country, nearly 30 wins. Three All-Stars. Yeah, mm -hmm. three guys that were All-Americans. Yes. All, all got scholarships. Yeah, Josh Winbush. Um, uh, Vega, yeah, he, Zachary Vega, and um, Mar Marcus McCarthy. Yeah, three great players. Three-pointer, Solomon gets oh, the roll. Wow. I thought I'm that was sorry, not Solomon. Mitchell Mercier. I thought that was coming back out. And the Bucks have hit some tough threes. It's interesting. Krishan can't get it. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Javis Hill. It's interesting. Like Krishan's playing that forward position, not not the not the five or four. Yeah. Well, he's, I mean, offensively they got him on the perimeter. Yeah. I mean, we saw earlier he can hit the shot. Campbell for three. Can't get it to fall. Solomon with the offensive rebound. You got to box out. And Bristol not doing a good job on the boards right now. They're letting Mass Bay get second and third opportunities. They get it inside. Solomon with a nice bounce pass to Hill. He'll get the contact. And um, they're going to charge Nish uh, Nairn, Krishan Nairn, with the uh, with the foul there. Yeah, I think I spoke too soon early in the game. The knock on the wood. And you always do that, though. <laughs> you always do that. So you're one, trying to say one minute, one minute into the game, and you're like, oh, they're playing great. They were playing you know? great. <laughs> <laughs> they were playing great. They, it just—it seems like they just cooled off here. But they—they they definitely need this win if they want to stay. If they want any hopes of the playoffs. Like they you had to stop calling it the playoffs. <laughs> it's a tournament. Tournament. Okay. Sorry. Playoffs like NBA. Yeah, I know. You know. I'm so used to watching. <laughs> I'm so used to watching NBA. I'm not used to watching a. Uh, if it was playoffs, it'd be like a seven-game series. Second free throw was missed. T.J. Hendry with the rebound. Mass Bay with that active zone that's been giving Bristol fits. And Gia for three off the side of the backboard. Not a good-looking shot. Wow. Going back the other way. Ninja Tenji oh, can't yeah. make it. Freeman going wow. back the other way. Freeman crosses over, gets to the lane, nice bounce pass. Oh, they had Angia there. To Henry, the they're corner. gonna call travel. They had Angia open in the corner. Yeah, but they can't keep kicking it to the corner to to Angia, you know. No. Yeah, I mean, he, but he had two Freeman's going to the basket. Henry was there. But there was no. He just traveled. Yeah, but there was two guys in the in the side. No one, no one there to. Uh, Freeman and Angia coming out to defend. Martin kicks back out. Mass Bay, really patient on the offensive end. Yeah. They're just making the right plays. They're not rushing anything. You know, they'll try to lull you to sleep, and then they'll pull it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice little dish there inside. Just like that. And it looked like he got blocked from the back. What a drive there by Solomon to get it to Hill. He's having a Solomon great drives baseline, and 
gave a nice little dish to Hill. Well, even though he got blocked from the, looked like he got blocked from the back, that ball still went in. He's having a really they great dump night. it into Lopes. Lopes turns. Nice post move. Nice. Now gets it to go. Nice little post move there by Joe Lopes. I thought he was going to pass it to Henry, but he made it work. No. 25-19. This first half is yeah. flying by. We got yeah. coming up on six and a half to play. See, it'll be interesting here to see if uh, Bristol could turn it back up. Well, there's a lot of time left here. Just momentum. Seven on the shot clock. Bristol needs to stop here. And travel. they're going to call it travel. That's what happens. Yes. When you're going against a team that's playing good defense and that 2-3 zone is active. Yeah. They're, making, they're making good rotations. What's they kind of lull you to they kind of lull you to sleep and lull you to make mistakes, and that's what happened right there. Low scoring first half. Bayhawks just need to get a string of good plays together. Oh, nice lob in to Lopes. Sticks with it. Puts oh. it up. Oh, can't get it to fall. That was almost. That was a nice pass there by yeah. Freeman, though, to get it to Lopes, who's undersized down there. But he, he has he, he might be undersized, but his heart is just as big as uh, any of those players. Gets it inside. Nice post move there by Hill. Nice entry pass there by Mercier. 27 and 19. That was a nice little entry pass, and Hill sealed him off and made a good move underneath. Here we go again, and not moving around, just passing it back and forth. There you go. Who's moving? Who's moving? No, Three pointer no. by Krishan. That's not going to be the shot you want all the time. Yeah, when it seems like when they go fast to the offense, you know they get they get a foul or they get a. Got to get something going more yeah. to the basket. When he starts slowing down during half court, it's undecisive. It's a half court game. We haven't seen too many uh -huh. fast breaks. Martin from deep coming off. Read about uh -huh. it by Nia Tenji. Oh, nice block there by Freeman. A little double sure. pump there, but they're yeah. going to call the foul on Freeman. Yeah, Matt Spade's doing a pretty good job getting back defensively. They have size and speed. Who are we talking about? Matt Spade. Yeah, they yeah. got guys that... Um, are not one dimensional. They got guys that can shoot it. They got big guys that can shoot from the outside and they can take it to the they can take it to the rack. They can post up. Lethal combination. And they got a pretty good deep bench looking at that bench. That's for sure. And the Intenji hit the oh. first free throw. A lot different and than the, and hit the second free throw and just like that, Mass Bay is up by double figures. They're up by ten. That's their largest lead of the game. They've had control of this one. Oh, oh, just Lopes loses that one. Goes through his hands. Going back the other way is Hill. Oh, nice block nice by block Freeman. Nice block there by Freeman. And Gia, he's going to step his game up. And Gia going to the rack, puts it up with the left. That ball bouncing around. You know, I'm not mad at that shot from Nguia. And it goes out of bounds. It's going to be Mass Bay basketball. I'm not mad at that shot by Nguia. I think that was the no, best No, no, he's going to the rack. There's no other offense. I mean, you know. But why does... You got to take that opportunity. We're going to take a break right here. 29 to 19. Mass Bay has the lead. 448 left to play in the first half. We'll take a break right here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen, from LaFrance Gymnasium here at Bishop Conley High School, the home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars. You can see all the championship banners and their championship lineage. This has also been the home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks the last several years, too. And if you go into G Building at the uh, Bristol Community College campus, you will see that Bristol's starting to put a couple banners up there, too. Couple. Trying to build some uh, championship resume. Well, they just moved the trophy case, too, down by the built gym. Built trophy, yeah. yeah. It's an up-and-coming athletics program, that's for sure. Now in the last play, what I was going to say before we went out to break, why did the three players go to the exact same spot on that fast break? That's why I think they, well, they made a mistake. I don't know. On a fast break, you're definitely going to spread the floor. 29-19, yeah. four and a half to go here in the first half. Nairn coming out to um, to cover Naya Tenji. Three on the shot clock. You're going to shoot it. Puts it up. Oh, wow. Oh, you have to box and it beating up. him to the basketball, just—it's too strong. Oh, travel! 
I don't know. The Bucks just seem to be beating Bristol to, the, to like all the 50-50 yeah. balls. They're getting they're getting second chances at that. Well, they're out but they're also be, they're also beating them to some loose balls too. Yeah, it seems like they're just out physical, out toughing them out physically. Um, it's just Bayhawks came like bursting out with energy, but ever since then it seems like they slowed down. Lopes flashes up top from the free throw line. Can't get it to fall. Lopes, Lopes shot with that one from the elbow, short. Bristol can't get anything going solid offensively. That's not making their shots. Not like their defense has been bad. They've only given no. up 29 points. The kickback out, Mercier for three, can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Solomon, gets a block nice. by Henry. Nice block there by good Henry. Good job by Henry there with a the block. Henry's a good shot blocker. He gets yes. up off the floor quick. He has good, uh, good reaction. Sometimes, I don't know why, he surprises you with his spring. Like, sometimes he, he dunks, yeah. you know. Well, he's tall, he's lengthy. Um, he has a good, pretty good uh, range. You say he's lanky? No, I said lengthy. Oh, lengthy. I <laughs> say, so don't, <let> <laughs> don't let him hear you say that. Three on the shot clock again. The wow. three-pointer by Mercier can't that get it to fall. That was pretty deep. Bristol forcing Mass Bay deep into the shot clock. And Jaya for three. Boy, he's just off the mark. What? No one can seem like they can buy a basket right now. Now, oh, Chad and Gia, we've seen the last couple games where he's got off to a good start, yeah. hit his first couple shots or hit his first three-pointer, and has gone cold since. Yeah. He has his spots during the game, but they Freeman better get it in. They can definitely use consistency. Bristol is all over um, and Gia. They have to communicate more offensively. Just and Freeman's being guarded by Marshall, who's, who's a good defender. Marshall Martin. Lopes sets a pick. Freeman trying to get loose. Yeah, Drives, play. kicks to the corner, knocked away. Nice. Knocked away by Hill. Nice space Hill, on. nice little move there, and he gets fouled by Freeman. That was a nice contested shot by Freeman. Don't let them get nothing easy. That's for sure, but Hill in the open court with a little shake left, and then, you with, know, with it, gets, gets to the free throw line because of that move. Well, it's a little foul trouble now. Bay, uh, Bayhawks got six fouls, and uh, Mass Bay's not too far behind with five. Yeah, Battle. both teams near the bonus. Mm -hmm. Three minutes to go. Seems like it's been 20 to 19 for a little bit here. Yeah. A couple minutes anyway. Three minutes to play in the first half. This first half flying by. Yeah, this game's within reach. They just need, if I think they can cut it down to a two point scoring game. Right now, the offense doesn't look like it's. Um, no. But defensively, looks they. Looks like the Patriots' offense this year. <laughs> you know? I wouldn't say that that bad. At least they put points up on the board. Oh, geez. <laughs> 19. That ball knocked away. It's loose. Freeman better get there. Nice effort there by Ming and Tenji to get back there. And this is really a collective team effort from Mass Bay. Like you, you've seen all the guys make plays. They're making plays on the defensive end, but yeah. you got to remember, it's only 29 and 19. Yes. They're not scoring either. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they uh, got cold you know? from the three-point line. Hendry, I'm sorry, Freeman in the paint gets it to nice. go. Freeman looked like he lost it. Regained it. He kept his composure. Puts, puts up the shot in the lane. 29-21. Two and a half minutes to play. In the first half. I mean, Bristol's d up. Yes, it's been a defensive game for sure. Again, Mass Bay with under 10 seconds left to go on the shot clock. Bristol's defense it's swarming at wait. the free throw line. Catching it as Hill. Can't get the rebound. Can't get the shot to go. Martin has the ball, and it's going to stay here. See. So again, more. They have a they, more they, uh, rebounds by by Mass Bay. Second, you know, second and third offensive rebounds. Yeah, Bayhawks are averaging under 30 rebounds per game. The Bayhawks need to do a better job of boxing out. They do a great job defensively. They have to finish off. Yeah, like, they're just not exactly. They're just not getting position. They lob it in, kick it back out. Three-pointer by Martin at the top. He drains oh, it. This is what, 4-3? That's his 4-3. He's getting back into Man. Those are killers. Yeah. Those are killer shots. Freeman from deep says the hell with it. Can't get it to fall. Tipped. Rebounded by Nia Tenji. Yeah, it just seems like they have no offensive plan. They're not communi Defensively, they communicate great. Offensively, there's no communication. Seems like really not much of a plan. Timeout there by a. Uh, oh, no, not timeout. 
They're going to call a 10 second violation? violation? I believe so. Holy cow. Hey, Bayhawks could use it. And they definitely could use it. Minute and a half to go. The thing is with with Bristol, they're playing good defense. They pound it into Lopes. Lopes nice. goes inside. That's what I want to see from Lopes. Maybe you might need some more of that from Lopes. I mean, he's been trying to get it all game. This hasn't been going in for him. He's just undersized Yeah. from a height standpoint. Down by nine. But he uses that shoulder to get space. 15 seconds left. Let's see if uh, they can get him deep in the shot clock again. Under Campbell it. kicks it back out to Mercier. Five on the shot clock again. Catching it. Step back by Hill. No good. Rebounded by Freeman. Let's see if Bristol can close out this half strong. Here's Freeman. 40 seconds left. Freeman trying to cut this game into seven. So you should have went for a two for one here. Nairn gets it back out. Freeman drives to the hole. Nice, nice pass find. underneath to Henry. Boy, they needed that. Good job there. Nice find there by Freeman. I think Freeman needs to take the ball to the rack more and yeah. create for others. It just opens up. Is it when they stand still on a three-point line? Yeah, because they're going to collapse on. They're going to collapse on Freeman. Yeah. But he needs to take the ball into the paint and look to dish or kick back out. Shot clock is off. Eight seconds on the game clock. They kick it to the corner. Kick it to the corner to Mercier to a cutting hill. Uses his body. He gets oh, the nice. roll. That was just a nice play there on that space. Boy, that was tough, and that's going to do it for the first half. A low-scoring first half, 34 to 25. Both teams playing pretty good defense. Both teams playing zone, playing two-three zone, playing some tough defense. And um, this Bay, Mass Bay just had more slots. Yeah. This, uh, the thing that the thing is about Mass Bay is they are they're getting they're getting forced deep into the shot clock yeah. by Bristol because Bristol's playing good defense. Yes. But they get and the rebound. Bristol, but Bristol's playing is is allowing is, is forcing them to go deep into the shot clock. Yeah. But then Mass Bay is hitting these last second hero ball shots that are kind of daggers. So anyway, yeah. at the half, 34-25, stay with us for a second half action here from La France Gymnasium. Here on Bayhawks Basketball Thursday night. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to La France Gymnasium. Halftime here. Here's your halftime report 34 25 in a not so high scoring game. It's kind of similar to the last game, actually, uh, Megan. Um, the first half, uh, Bristol not shooting well from the outside. Mass Bay. Not, not doing great offensively either, but Bristol's forcing Mass Bay to take some tough shots, and that's kind of been the story of the game. And also, Mass Bay just been in, doing a better job at the boards. Even though they missed the first shot, they get the rebound, and they have another opportunity. Um, it's best, definitely been a defensive game, though, I would say. Marshall Martin and Mitchell Mercier. Leading the way, both with 13, point, 13 points each. No, just Martin has 13 points. He has four threes. Oh, and Martin has 13 points, and Giannis Niantendi has 11. So those are the two players that are in uh, double, digits. double digit scoring. As Henry kisses one off the glass in the paint, and maybe Bristol can, can get something going here that was as the second half gets going. And Stanley Freeman led all Bristol scores with nine and that's your halftime report as this second half is now underway. I want to thank our Facebook audience for joining us and rejoining us here. And thank you for sticking with us all through the season. The 2019-2020 campaign for Bayhawks basketball brought to you right here by FRC Media. Great. All right, that shot is off the mark. And Bristol looking much quicker off the break. Hendry. Off the and Gia miss had his shot altered. It was nice by Mercier. Nice to see Bayhawks grab a board there, though. It's early on, but Bristol looks like they have a little bit more of a burst in their step offensively. Three pointer, it's good. Bless it. Me, it's Henji. We saw the same. He now has 14. We saw the same thing though in the first quarter, so we'll see if we can keep him up, keep it up. Again, Mass Bay in that zone. Lopes. Ooh, Ooh, Lopes getting physical. Just I'm sorry, I thought they might have called an offensive. That's Lopes going to dip that shoulder in there, going over, Ooh. and there's, there's the offensive foul. 
Got it back on the other side. Lopes has uh, yeah. some powerful shoulders. I see you bumped the guy to and, able to get space earlier. And Gia was clearly set. Yeah. But Nia Tenji going like a going like a bat out of hell rammed into him. I'm he, sorry, Solomon. I think he was maybe trying to get payback there for Lopes. <laughs> Freeman kicks it over to Angia. Lopes. Got a triple teamed over there. Freeman. Kicks back out to Angia for three. Can't get it to fall. Angia, the lid is on the basket for that guy. Guys, uh, moving around a little bit more, though. Seems like they have more of a plan there in that play. Yeah, there seems to be better ball movement, more crisp ball movement, and more, more motion, like you were saying. Nice little in, nice pass mm -hmm. there inside to Mercier, who gets it into Solomon. Count it. Well, this is not what you. And go into the line. This is not what Bristol wants to see coming out the half. Just back to talking about two three point plays so far for Mass Bay. I know, and Bristol, I guess I counted, I guess I got some of your disease there. I counted the chickens <laughs> before they had. Bristol looked like they had a little, little bit of a kick in their step in that first minute, and just like that. Hey, there's nothing wrong with having some op op optimism. Happy yeah. I rubbed off on you a little bit. Here's Freeman over the timeline. Bristol needs wins. They need this win. They do. And, uh, like Gia looking to go baseline. Kicks it back out to Freeman. Ten on the shot clock. There it is. And Gia off the Ooh. side of the backboard. He's having an awful night. He's that having a, a horrific night shooting the basketball. It's the second, the second shot that's gone off the side of the backboard. That was ugly. I'm not sure if that got tipped they're relying, there. They're relying too much on, the, on him shooting that shot. I'm sorry. They're, yeah. they're relying too much on that. And Gia trying to hit those corner threes. It's not working. Go to something else. Yeah. Well, he, he has to know when it's not there for him. And uh, look. I'm nope. looking for Lopes. And like I said before, shoot or shoot. Yeah. Freeman gets it inside to Lopes. Lopes can't get it. Henry's there with the offensive rebound. Can't get it to fall, but he will go to the line for two. Nice follow through there by Henry. I think he's doing a better job re rebounding so far in his uh, second half. Yes, sir. And when I say Freeman, when I say Bristol has a little bit more of a burst in their step, they yeah. do. Yeah. They're they're moving around better. They're that ball isn't sticking with one person. It could be. You know. They look a little bit less stagnant or unsure of themselves, but, I mean, they're just not able to score right now. Mass Bay is playing a great 2-3 zone, and Bristol just can't figure it out. It could be also due to a lack of, of a bench because it seems like we see this a lot. They get off to a great start and then go a couple minutes into the quarter. They, just not, they don't have the same type of energy. Hey, they're young and healthy. They can do it. I mean, come <laughs> on now. They, I mean, you're going to be tied after a minute. Yes. For Sean, man, the backcourt chasing the ball around. Maybe Bristol needs to get Bristol needs to get desperate with that pressure. Maybe Bristol needs to bring the pressure in the second half. They gotta realize if they they're fighting for a playoff spot. They gotta play like it. Jumper in the corner by Hill. Rebounded by Christian Nairn. Need more of that. Freeman looking to push. Nice fake there by Angia to a cutting Christian. You gotta attack the basket. Nice. There it is. I want to see Christian get more involved in the offense. He got the size. Just go to the basket. Well, you got to crash the yeah. You got to yeah. crash the basket. I don't care who who else has the basketball. And Gia driving to the basket. And Krishan Naren yeah. helped out. Went to the basket to follow him to help out and attack the rim. And well, we saw now he's at the free throw line. Try to convert a three point play. Well, we saw last game. This guy can get buckets. So I think they should take advantage of it more. Instead of always looking for yeah. Gia. You just gotta. Who's gonna assert themselves here in the second half? Naren completes a three-point play. Bristol within eight. Now Bristol bringing pressure. Oh, and there's nice. it, there it is. See, it works for them. Bristol forces the turnover. That ball goes out of bounds. When they do like a half-court trap, it, it works for them. We'll see if they stick with it throughout the. It does. Yeah. It definitely, it definitely does. And if it leads to uh, offense in a way. 18 on the shot clock, Freeman. Freeman being guarded closely by Solomon. Here's Nairn, going to the rack, puts it up. High off the glass, off the mark, rebounded by Martin. Martin in trouble, gets it out there to Nian Tenji. That wasn't the best uh, release there by Nairn, but I like, I like the, I like his thinking. Get to the referee's basket. Gonna call, referee's gonna call a timeout here. 16-16 to go. 
Bristol within striking distance. Yeah, they cut this lead slowly but, slur but surely. It's eight points after, what was it? <laughs> it was, it was I think it was 10. Yeah, <laughs> Slow, it was slowly but surely they're surely. cutting into that lead. But they got they sliced two off it. Yeah. <laughs> but before um it was a it was a double digits. Yeah, it was 37. Yeah. No, it was 37 or 27. So But Bristol needs to um they need to attack the basket more. Yes. They need to penetrate towards the basket and when when someone else is driving to the basket Bristol needs to be crashing the boards yes. and try to get second and third opportunities or get guys cut into the hole. Yes. Because that guy penetrating might pick up another defender. Now you got to get to attack. Kicking it to the corner. Five on the shot clock. Jumper by Martin oh. at the elbow, and he'll get, he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. There was a lot of whistles last one. I think uh, they both had six fouls, and this so far it's – Three fouls for the way team and two for Bristol, so. Yeah, we might have a lot of free throws going down the stretch here. Second half might be a little bit longer than the first half. Martin at the line for two. First free throw is short. Again, not an impressive um, output in the first half. No. For, Offensively. For either, for either team. Offensively, yes. Uh, it is, I think for Bayhawks, they have to move more and just communicate like they do on defense. Second free throw, good by Martin. 40 to 31, nine point lead, 16 minutes to go. A lot of time left. Let's see who's going to step up for Bristol. Could it be this guy, Krishan Nairn, who's been absent most of the second half of the season, but he re he uh, came back. He came back to the Bayhawks last game against Springfield. That ball kicked by Ni and Tenji. I like what I seen from Nairn on on that play there. He kept moving. He was telling other guys to move around. Well, he definitely brings an energy. He's definitely got a spark about him and some energy, and I think he's definitely an energy guy. But Well, he, he realizes what the team needs to do offensively. They just can't stand still. He's trying to get uh, these feet moving. Start using those Nike shoes. <laughs> it's all about the Nike shoes. Let's do it. Here's Freeman to Nairn. Oh. And they're going to call an offensive foul. Maybe going a little too hard there. Sometimes Krishan, you know, he um, gets ahead of himself, or no, yeah, he just um, lose, con you know, lose control. He's gonna play more within himself. Yeah. Sometimes he's not under control, going to the basket. Oh wow! Nice Stolen by Freeman at half court. Freeman takes it upon himself, puts nice. it up and in. Nice. Nice little hesitation move, and then drives to the basket, and score it. I think they were expecting the same thing. I was expecting uh, alley oop to. Uh, Naren, but he had the numbers. I thought yeah. Freeman might dish there. Yeah, but Naren applying pressure in the backcourt, and there's a steal. steal. Freeman gets it up to Krishan. Gonna Dunk bring it. the house yeah. down, and he does. Slam a jammer with the hammer. Nice. Krishan called timeout. 40 to 35. That's the momentum that the uh, Bayhawks need. Five point eight, five point slow but surely. <laughs> there it is. 15 minutes to go. 40 to 35. That could be the energizer yeah. that this Bristol team needs we see to get their head out of there. You know where. Yeah. The defense will lead into offense. That's what, I mean, if they're not going to be able to create it um, on the offensive side when they get the ball on uh, half court, maybe it, they can get it through the defense. That's what I've always said. You know, like, you know, Bristol teams in the past, you know, sometimes, you know, they, when they've been stagnant on the offensive end, their best offense has been their defense. Getting in transition, getting steals off the pressure, getting steals off the press. You know, forcing turnovers and getting things going, getting things going in transition, getting the rebound the first time instead of allowing the other team to get second and third chances, getting 50, getting the 50 50 balls. Mm -hmm. You know, when they get the, when they get the rebound and they're pushing the ball up the, um, you know, up the court and not allowing the other team to get set back on defense. Yes. That's when Bristol's at their best. When they're in transition, they got the numbers, you know. When they're playing like they want the playoff yeah. spot. When they're, yeah, when they're playing with their team speed. Yeah. They just saw. Uh, you know, this is how this is how they get to get back yeah. in the ball game, and I think Coach Brian Fernandez realizes he's going to have a little bit of sense of desperation. We see it back with the Here full court is. defense. We got a little we got a little full court trap. Mass Bay trying to get through the zone. Here it is. Nice. Better get rid of it. Almost five seconds there. Bristol's done a great That's job. Up. Bristol's done a great job defensively. Yeah. Again. They've been forced to mass bait to work for everything they've got. 
Getting them deep. Three on the shot clock. Pressure's on. The three-pointer by Mercier can't get it to fall. You get a look up. Don't let him set. Here's Freeman. Are you saying earlier they're forcing them deep into the shot clock? And now putting pressure on him is even going to be more effective. Mm -hmm. There it is. Lopes for three. The garbage man can't nail it. Rebounded by Niantenji. Ooh, Niantenji almost had that stolen by Freeman. Freeman has had nice hands here the last couple threes. Yeah, Freeman. Two steals. Three-pointer by Martin. Short. Lopes gets position, gets the rebound. He's going to have to be the re he's going to be he's going to have to be rebounding the basketball like a madman in this game. Freeman going to the hole. Looks like it was off his foot. Yeah, it goes off his foot, but Freeman had the right idea. Freeman has to be more aggressive going to the basket. Seems like he's he one of the free, he's one of the few players on this Bayhawks team that can create a shot and get it going to the basket and yeah. you know open up and, and score. Brothers. Yeah. I just think he just has to do it more consistently. We've seen him; he's capable of doing it. I just think. Uh, just gonna do it. He, yeah. he can go. He can go to the line and and create. I mean, he can go to the. He can get to the basket and create for others, and get to the free throw line. But Bristol, this is very much a game now. Yeah. Within five, energy in this gym. Crowd starting to get into it. Here it here it is again. Eight on the shot clock. That two three zone working wonders. Catching it at the elbow. Martin with the oh with the high riser with the. With the rainbow jumper. How does he do it? Henry was a little slow to get to his and man. And Gia, who thought about it. And Gia being defended very well from th on the perimeter. Yeah, besides the first three he hit early in the game. Poofong for three, and they're going to. Oh, I know the Bayhawks wish they had that one. What's the, what's the call there? They got a bounce. Run a step on the line. Nonetheless, it's a turnover. Mass Bay is going to get the basketball up seven. I was wondering why Poufon's going to come into this game. I think he uh, provides them, does a little bit of everything. Doesn't do everything, doesn't do really definitely, much great. But definitely, definitely leaves it all on the court. Yeah. And there it is, that Bristol. Bristol always looking to trap now. Cutting to the basket, Hill. Oh, there it is. Nice. To a cutting Mercier. See the you, see how, you see how Mass Bay, how they're always cutting to the basket? Yes, that's, that's what I was going to say. Bayhawks need to take some lessons, and that's right. what they need to do. Freeman kicks it over to Pufong. You got to get it going to the basket. See, 13 on the shot clock. It's like a game of catch right now. Freeman looking to take his man. Going to the basket. Kicks it up to Henry in the corner. 17 footer short. That was a nice find by Freeman to get Henry, but I think Henry should have moved in a little bit there. The thing is with Mass Bay, when one of the players is penetrating, someone else is always cutting to the basket. Yes. You cut to the basket, good things can happen. I think uh, they get it inside to Hill. Hill being covered by Henry. Hill working Henry. Oh, nice post move on the block there. Turning towards the paint and putting him off the glass and in. Just had and just like that, Mass Bay's back up by double figures. They're up 11. Wow. 11, uh, 11.40 to go here. Freeman kicks it to Pufong. Pufong from the wing. Short. Rebounded by Mercier. It's just not Bayhawks shooting night, I guess. No, can't get much to go. And Bristol being held to 35 points here as we approach the halfway mark here in the second half. Oh, nice denial by uh, Lopes. Good job to, uh, good job fronting his man as Lopes. Well, this is what happens when your, your key uh, scorer is, uh, is not having a great game. Who's going to be the second guy? And uh, they need more consistency here. Well, someone has to step up yeah. and be that first guy. Martin, wide open in the corner for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Hill. Hill with a quick pass underneath. Ooh, oh, nice strong move underneath by Nene and Tenji. And there's, a, and there's a technical foul on Freeman. And the Bayhawks are starting to unravel. You can see his frustration there. He knew he just made me a little bit too late. It's not what they needed right now. 12. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. One, you couldn't get the rebound again. Mm -hmm. Two, you allow the you allow the basket mm -hmm. and the foul, and then you commit a technical foul on top of that. I mean, it's just a it's 13 uh, point lo lose, game. lose, lose. Yeah. I mean, they know what they're fighting for. Now it's a 13 point game. Potentially, can be uh, up to 16 if he hits all his free throws. Grab boards. Yes. You can't do anything without the basketball. Grab boards. Stop giving. 
stop allowing the other team to get second chances. Would it not really? But that was a nice pass. That was yeah. a beautiful pass, though, off the rebound and then strong move there by Ning and Tenji. He's the leading scorer in this whole game. Would it not? He's been, uh, he's been dynamite for Mass Bay. With the Bayhawks, they just, they just need to do a better job boxing out. And, uh, you know, right now they just can't get too hung up on this. It's 11, 11 no, minutes it's in not. the game. No, by no means is it insurmountable, no. but the way that they're playing offense, yes, it almost seems it seems that way. You got to move on to the next play and make the right play here. Just keep your head up. I know our Freeman. You got to keep your head up. Yeah. Please don't sink. <laughs> Second free throw was good by Martin and Mass Bay will can you know Mass Bay will get the basketball. Well, actually, so Martin shoots the technicals, mm -hmm. and now. They got the two feet. They got the two Yeah, three now Ni and Tenji will shoot the foul shot. So this can extend the lead to even more. 17. So that that whole sequence there was a like just a backbreaker. Mm -hmm. Nice job by Henry. That's what you need to do. Ni and Tenji out. misses the free throw. Bristol needs to regain his composure. Move around. Freeman gets it inside to Hendry. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Angia. Henry's going to make himself available yeah. down there, down low. It's not really even pushing. Angia for three. And he just can't get it to fall. Loose ball in there. And we get a foul on the floor. Yeah, Henry got to be more aggressive there uh, going to I the. I think they called a foul on Hill. That's going to be his third. Foul's going to be on Javis Hill. Well, Bayhawks got five fouls, and uh, Mass Bay's right behind him with four. Hill, I mean, sorry, Freeman. Freeman from the free throw line gets it nice. to go. Nice. Good job by Freeman. Take that step back. Final Coach Fernandez will, Fernandes will call a timeout, 50-37, to 37, 10-37 left to go in this one. We're going to take a break right here, here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, welcome back. 50-37, to 37, Bayhawks trail this one down 13. Fall River, we have a problem. We have a problem, Fall River. The Bayhawks can't score. The lid is on the basket for them. Only 37 points in this contest. We'll see if they can, you know, shake their way out of it. But right now, you know, Bristol's shooting abysmal from the field. Chad and Gia yeah. has only made one three-pointer, only one shot from beyond the arc, and a dozen others. So he's... It looked like Bristol was going to get back into this one. They got within five. We just need to they, um, Mass Bay breaking the uh, the trap there. And there's a turnover. There you go. Hill loses it out of bounds, couldn't control it. So let's see if they can. Start turning things around. You got to take, you got to take, you got to chip away at this. You got to yes. take things possession by possession. You got to score here. You got to focus on scoring in this possession. Get it to within 11, get it to within 10. And then break it down from there. You get a focus on this possession. Can't get it all in one swoop. Ooh, Pufong almost losing that. Pufong from the top of the key. Can't get it to fall. See, not I a like, good, not a good shot. No. Not a good shot. I like how they try to set picks there, but they weren't really strong picks. It's like yeah, it was kind of vanilla. Yeah. They kick it into the corner. Solomon gives it to Martin in the paint. Puts it up with one hand. Gets it to go. Boy, Martin can score from any. That kid can score from anywhere. See, now he moves well without the basketball. He can shoot the three-pointer. He gets into the lane, flashes up at the free throw line, gets into the paint, puts it up at one hand. That's a good-looking player. Pufong for three, gets nice. it to go. Boy, that was a. That almost seemed like a miracle. They needed to see that. Yeah, that was a big three for them. I and that ball sails out of bounds. Bristol within 12, so. I wouldn't fall in love with that, though, just because you hit one. No. No, don't get caught that up. That was a hero shot. Yeah. That was like, I need, we need this. <laughs> and it went in. It's like an Bristol, they needed that. I was going to yeah. say, they need one of these BS hero shots to fall, and that one did. So maybe they can get something going from that. Pufong. Maybe the basketball gods felt bad for them. It's like, okay. Ooh, I think they're going to call a foul on Pufong, uh. maybe pushing off with the. See, but he can't let that stop him from being uh, trying to get involved more on the offense. I'm not sure what the call is. 
Yeah, they're gonna, I thought they, maybe they're going to call a push foul up. on Pufong, yeah. drive it to the basket, maybe pushed off with the hand, but maybe he stepped out of bounds. But Yeah, we don't really. Okay. Not sure. We don't have a. Bristle trapping in the backcourt. Mass Bay gets it over the timeline. They got Krishan Nairn up top, looking to double. Freeman on inside. Bristol needs to stop here. It's coming up on money time. Three-pointer in the corner by Hill. Can't get it to fall. Another rebound over, going over the back with Nia Tenji. Loose ball underneath. There it is. Nice job, Angie, again. His hands in there. Freeman. Freeman loses it. Just got it to Picked give it away. Picked up by Hill, and then he rolls it back. That ball's like a bar of soap. Like no one wants the ball. Just keep giving it away like it's a bad Christmas gift. And there's a lot of frustrations being, I got to be careful here. Yeah, <laughs> no one wants the ball. No, a lot of frustrations going on here. 52 to 40. It's a frustrating game. Definitely a, definitely a frustrating offensive game yeah. for Bristol. Yeah, they can't afford to give up any more tax this game. Cut it, they have it 12, 12 point game. It's in distance, eight, eight minutes, 15 seconds left to play. Definitely can't, time left. You yeah. gotta get, now, now you gotta get stops. Yes, you can't afford you get, much mistakes. Yeah, you gotta have effective, you gotta have effective offensive possessions and you need to start to get stops here. Oh, and score, don't forget that. Oh, <laughs> that's why I said effective yeah. offensive possessions, which hence means score. score. Oh, I missed that part, my bad. Okay, so Martin is going to go to the line because Bristol has committed 17 fouls. Therefore, the Bayhawks are, I mean the Bayhawks, the Mass, uh, Bay. Ma Mass Bay, Mass Bay and the Bayhawks. Mass Bay is in the, in the bonus. One-on-one -on -one situation, though. Get the board. Get the freaking rebound, guy. They're not, re they're not boxing out. Do you need me to go out there and get a rebound for I, you? I think they can use their size. I'm not going to lie Holy to cow, man. Yeah, they're just not boxing out. They get it inside the hill. Nice little dish there. Nice little dish there to a cutting Solomon. Mass Bay does a good job with the interior passing. That I was a good job off the offensive board. I think Dave's putting his application in to become a Mass Bay fan now. No, just <laughs> you gotta you gotta get boards. Yes, man. you do. Freeman goes to the rack. Need more of that. Caught Mass Bay sleeping. Freeman took advantage of a little lane there and scores it. Krishan Nairn trying there. to put some pressure in the backcourt against Mass Bay. Here's a trap at half court. He's and a, we get a travel. Nice. Naren's a really great defender. Uses his size very well. He is, and he can defend any position. Yeah. He's got quick feet. Obviously, he's very athletic. He's long. Let's see he's, in, he's everything you want in a defender. He's aggressive. Freeman kicks it over to Krishan. Oh, cross-court pass. Boy, that was dangerous. Freeman going to the rack. Kicks Whoa, it to the corner. I don't know where you're throwing that no. into the first row. A little too much on that one. You should have just took the Freeman, shot. Freeman drives and kicks it too much. Go up strong, man. You'll get the foul. You'll get the foul. Yeah. And he can make he can make those around the basket. We've seen him. Yeah. You think it's a Had the right idea. Pufong yeah. was open, but here's Martin. Coming up on seven minutes to play. Bristol down by 12. Need stops. Need possessions. They dump it in inside. Loose ball. I think that was awful. I think it was knocked away by Hendry. That ball's going to go out of bounds. Only seven seconds on the shot clock. Mass Bay still has possession. They'll inbound from underneath their own basket. Six minutes for 53 seconds here to play. Any time now. Yeah. Nia Tenji will inbound for the, uh, for the Bucks. Ooh, good job by Hendry closing that one off. Going to the basket, Martin throws up a circus shot, another offensive rebound. Maybe they need to put and that ball never hit the rim. It's going to be a shot clock violation. Maybe they need to put Bayhawks basketball. Maybe they need to put Nate G in there. We haven't seen Nate G since the beginning yeah, of the we game. Haven't, yeah, we haven't seen Nate G. And I think they can use he's him. A, he's oh. a big body. He's someone that can throw his body around, get position, get some rebounds. And box out. Take a, you know, yeah. get some space. Pufong in the corner. Back up to the point. Freeman, nice pass on the knee to Nairn. Boy, they needed that basket. Bristol cuts it to within 10. 
Well, Nan, Approaching the six-minute mark. Nan kept asking for it, and he finally got it. Did a nice spin move there to get this basket. Yeah, that was a good pass there by Freeman. Finding Nairn underneath. Hey, Coach Menendez communicating with his team. Hill back out to Ning and Tenji. Again, again, seven on the shot clock. Bristol playing good D. Nice job there by G to get a hand on it. Bristol, Bristol playing some spirited defense right now. Five on the shot clock. I would like to see Freeman get in, get in there like he was doing early in the half. And Coach Morris is going to call a timeout for Mass Bay. And we're going to take a timeout here. 5.52 to play. Don't go away. It's 54 to 44. And we'll be right back right after this. All right, we're back, everybody. 54-44. If Bristol's going to make a run, they need to do it now. They need to stop here. Again, I'm David Cardell. I'm along here with Megan Holden. I want to thank you, everybody, for watching Bayhawks basketball Thursday night. Thursday night basketball here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. Well, offensively, Bayhawks just need to get the rim more. They have success when doing that. Defensively, yeah, they just... Bristol not getting the... No, no one's cutting to the rim. No. Nope. You know, they're not getting to the rim enough. You know? Martin in the corner for three, and oh, that's man. just been the story of the game. His fifth three tonight. That just might do it. That's been the story of the game. Bristol has repeatedly forced Mass Bay to take shots at the shot clock buzzer. Here's TJ Hendry catching the ball on the block. Turn around hook in the, in the paint. It's going to go off blue. It's going to go off Mass Bay. And... I like that it's, idea, either, it's either been, I mean, Marshall Martin has killed the Bayhawks today. Off the inbound, T.J. Hendry will score it. But Marshall Martin, how many times has he killed the Bayhawks at the buzzer on the yeah. shot clock when Bristol has played good defense? It's definitely just his night, and they yeah. had no answer for him. Yeah, Bristol has played good defense, and repeatedly Mass Bay has scored with only a couple seconds left in the shot clock. Yeah. Like, it's just been a backbreaker after backbreaker after backbreaker. I mean, you can only withstand that so much. Yeah. Bristol, every time they have a chance to get back into this game, like we just seen there, Marshall, uh, Marshall Martin with that three in the corner. What a dagger. What a dagger. That's, oh, my yeah. goodness. I can only feel, I can, I feel Coach Brian Fernandez's pain right now. Yes. I mean, they cut it down to five at one point, but this never really felt like a close game since the second no, half started. No, no. Bristol, Bristol came out, like you said, guns a blaze, and you were all happy. Yes. And it was, um, you know, Bristol. Second half, they you had were a, happy. They had, a very, they had a very early lead. Mm -hmm. And then ever since then, ever, ever since Mass Bay took over the lead at seven to six, I mean, they haven't looked back. They've had the lead ever since then. Mm -hmm. In the first uh, few minutes, and now 5:21 left to go here. Down, the Bayhawks trail by 11. Doesn't seem like a lot, but if you have seen the offensive um, struggles, if you've seen the offensive game by the uh, by the Bayhawks today, it hasn't been promising. So I mean, 11 point lead is basically like a 22 point lead. The way that they've been playing offense, unless Chad and Gia. I mean, he hasn't. The looks that he's had have been contested. I mean, and he's had some open looks. He hasn't been able to make them. Just not his But he night. really hasn't had, all around, he really hasn't had that many looks as he usually has. Well, you know, they are kind of keeping, they're kind of taking him out of the game, and they've done that. Yeah. Well, it's not really he's his. Under, I mean, he's under 10 points. He's only in yeah. single digits. It's not Bristol needs to get, try to get a turnover here. Hill going to the basket, strong on Hendry. Hendry going to get the rebound. Freeman gets it. Five to go. Here's Freeman. Freeman needs to get it going to the rack. Pufong for three. Can't get it to fall. Man. Yeah. Bayhawks, I mean, the uh, Mass Bay doing a great job on the boards. That rebound by Nee and Tenji. I know they the need. The guard. I know they need a three to get back, like, to try to feel like they need to cut this lead, but take it to the basket. Yeah, exactly. Catching it at the elbow. Martin. Martin just killing them all day. Oh, Marshall yeah. Martin has killed the Bayhawks today. Yeah, they I mean, that one-two punch of Nian Tenji and Marshall Martin has been deadly. And, and Martin. He has a nice release. Yeah, he's, he's done really, really well. Hendry on the block. Gets into the paint and gets the bounce. There you go. Bayhawks could use more of that. They need Hendry to assert himself on the block. It's all about. Bristol down 11 again. It's all about consistency. Need to force some turnovers. Need to get, yeah. need to get this game to within single digits. Physicality. 
Who's going to be more physical here? Aggressive. I like the way Mass Bay, they take care of the, they take care of the basketball. Well, it seems like they... They, they, they move without the basketball yeah. very well. Three-pointer. Get a grab it. There it is. Missed by Hill. Freeman looked to push. And Gia... Got tripped up a little yeah, bit there. He got, yeah, he got tripped up there. Are gonna Foul's going to be on... Foul's going to be on Nia Tenji. Are they going to say he was shooting? Or nope, no? No, no, he was... He was running, no, running to the basket. Yeah, that was on the drive. Yeah. Freeman to inbound. Boy, they're all over Hill. Nia and Tenji all over Hill. Here's Freeman. Get it going to the basket. Freeman mm -hmm. driving to his left. Kicks to Angia. Angia pulls it. The short, oh, short jumper wow. no good. And I think Hendry, Hendry was the last one to touch it. No, actually they'll say it's Bayhawks basketball. Now, I don't know if Angia split a pole with somebody or maybe like broke a mirror or something, but it's just not his, it's no, not like his lucky hey, game. When it's, not, when it's your night, it's your night. When it's not your night, it's not your night. But he's still, he's making up for it defensively. So it's offensively, they need to find another option. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Going to the basket, landed in. Is Ni and Tenji, he's had a great night. 61 to 48 and Bristol just looks tired. Like I was saying, not, not much bench for uh, Bayhawks to play. Hendry kicks it to Freeman. Freeman for three, can't get it to fall. Yeah. Just not a good shooting night for the Bayhawks. Held to 48 points, and there's three minutes to go here. Yeah, 13-point 13, 13 difference here. Marshall Martin for three. Oh, wow. And there's a push, and they're going to call an offensive foul. The Bayhawks have kind of been getting abused under the basket all night, though. Just out, physic just out physical. And they're going to call a foul on Solomon. Let's see if... Uh, here, I mean, you gotta you gotta play quick, I offensively. Mean, no no, undecisiveness. Here's Pufong driving. Pufong puts it up. And he'll get the foul. And they're gonna call travel. Oh wow! Thought he would got the foul there. Just not a good night for the mm -hmm. Bayhawks. This lo a loss today will put the Bayhawks nine and ten, and they're. Their, their tournament hopes will be, become even slimmer. Yeah, this, this team doesn't look like they're playing for a playoff spot right now. You hate to say it, but it's true. Yeah. They get a foul, and the, uh, the Buccaneers, Mass Bay, are in the bonus. So going to the free throw line will be Mercier. Um, Mitchell Mercier will go to the line. But the Bayhawks, um, they still promise defensively. It's just offensively, they just need more consistency. They're trying to find the other options. But I know Freeman can get it done. Maybe Freeman. But they're just not. Um, yeah. They're just not able to get the rebounds. Yes. They're letting. They're letting too too many second. Second point Second options. chances, yeah. sometimes third chances in these games, and especially today. Second free throw is no good, yeah. and there's another. Another, there's rebound. another rebound. Yeah. They don't believe in boxing out. <laughs> they don't believe in it. Oh, what's, oh, shot clock right, we got problems. Shot clock problems. 62 to 48 with 224 to go. And Looks like the, their hopes game. are getting farther and farther away. Yeah, it's tough because they, they had a good – it was a good win on, against Springfield yeah. the other night. I thought, it was, I thought it was a good, solid win. I thought they played very well offensively in that second half after a slow start. You think it's not enough rest? Do you think that's – because, I mean, look at their bench versus – No, they're just not playing good. Yeah. They're just not good. Not, not good right now. Offensively. You can't make excuses for everything. Freeman, Freeman with the steal. Off the inbound. Freeman going to the oh, rack. What a block. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Three-pointer by Pufong is there. Henry, I mean, Freeman underneath. But holy cow. Talk about Freeman gets the rebound, goes up for the shot, and he'll get fouled there by number 22. Talk about a back. Mitchell Mercier. Talk about a backbreaker. That's what you want to see from Freeman, going to the basket like that. And just to have it blocked. No, that was a heck. That, of, was, a that was a heck yeah. of a block. But I know Freeman's uh, by yeah, Nia Tenji. Tenji. Yeah. Giannis Nia Tenji. What a! I mean, he said, "Get that stuff out of here." Missed the first leap though. There. Freeman. Stanley Freeman, where points are at a are hard to come by at first. 
Yeah. Both free throws. It's just not his night either. You gotta if you're not gonna make no. the you gotta take at least make the clearly, open shots. Clearly shaken up by that block. Yeah. He knows it too. If we're sensing frustration up here yeah. in the booth, you can only imagine how much frustration Coach Brian Fernandez is experiencing and this team tonight. This is not where you want mm -hmm. it to be. No. This would have been a this would have been a huge win to build off Tuesday's win against Springfield, and this Saturday's game would have been even even bigger. Yeah. Ga game Saturday this afternoon. I mean uh, Saturday afternoon. They just but now this is going to be a tough hole to dig themselves out of. So. And they're usually a great home team. They're eight and three on the season, and just tonight they just didn't have it offensively. 64-48, definitely not the continuity on like offense. Seems just like lack of. They'll dump it in. Naren kicks it back out. I mean, pro will Pufong yeah. shouldn't be shooting like 23s out there. No. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know how many threes he's put up. Pufong going to the basket. Puts it up with the left. Nice. Maybe we should see more of that. Yes. And Coach Brian Fernandez will call a timeout. Well, when a player hits one, I feel like they just get excited. And if there's not many options, they kind of take it upon themselves instead of coming up with a game plan. I think sometimes, you know, teams, like, they just get trigger happy. Yeah. You know, get it going to the basket. You've got to be patient. I think that's the that's been the difference in the game. Mass Bay on the, off, on the, Mass Bay on the offensive end, even though Bristol has played good defense with their zone and has been very effective, I mean, even though Mass Bay – has been forced deep into the shot clock. They've made the shots that have mattered. Mm -hmm. You know, they're doing the best with their opportunities, even if they're shooting with like three seconds left on the shot clock. I, I can't tell you how many shots that they've that they've made with like under five seconds left on the shot yes. clock. It's been amazing, unbelievable. See, the difference I see between the both offensive teams is that Mass Bay communicates throughout throughout their play. You don't really I see, see much more. Coming. I see more guys move into the yeah. basket. I see more guys. Coming up to help. Yes. I see, you know, coming up to help if another teammate's in trouble or being doubled. Me. But I see guys constantly, you know, going back, going back and forth across the paint. Or if another guy, if the guy with the basketball is driving towards the basket, yes. there's always a cutter. Yeah. Because that's why, that's why they're getting offensive rebounds because they're crashing the boards when another teammate's going to the, going to the, gla exactly. going to the, going to the rim. There's guys crashing. You know, crashing the boards. Exactly. And or cutting to the basket. The people are there. Offensively for the Bayhawks, it seems just like they're just playing a game of catch sometimes. It's just they have it offense so sometimes offensively they do the they make the cuts but they don't stick with it. There's no consistency. There's lack of communication. Yeah. There's well Mass Bay Mass Bay has definitely played with more of a tenacity. Yes. I think on both sides of the ball, but mostly on offense. I think they just you know, their their tenacity has just overwhelmed Bristol. Bristol has lacked that that tenacity. And they don't put a he their head down after, you know, missing a bas missing a shot or anything like that. It seems like they're just they're on to the next play right away. They keep their they keep their composure. Yeah. Well, they got shot makers. They get a few shots. Yeah. They get a few shot makers with um, Giannis Niyatenji, obviously Marshall Martin, and the Java Sill. These guys are shot makers, and they've, they've done a good job today. They made quite a few uh, threes tonight. Raymond for three. Nice. A little too Not late. sure if it's a little bit too late. 65 to 53. That does cut it to within 12, but Bristol working against the clock now. Yeah. Let's take a little break here. Minute 28 to go. 65 53. This one not over, not over yet, but we'll take a little break right here, and we'll be right back. Right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. The France Gymnasium 65 53 Bayhawks Trail. Again, want to thank our Facebook audience. It's been a uh our faithful Facebook audience, our Bristol fans, our Bristol faithful. Mm -hmm. It's been a... And our non-Bristol faithful. Yes. If you're not a Bayhawks fan, that's fine. If you don't go to Bristol Community College, it's fine. We welcome all viewers. Yeah. It's the NJCAA. No. And again... Another foul. Buccaneers are on the double bonus, so Bristol has committed 11 team fouls. That's the 11th one, so Mass Bay... Get to the line. Yeah, Mass Bay will be shooting two free throws from here on out. Mass Bay has seven team fouls, so both teams are in the bonus. Mass Bay just in the double bonus, and uh, Marshall 
Martin gets a little friendly roll there. Extends his team's lead to 13. Minute 23 to go. This one seemingly ac academic, and I think Coach Morris is going to call a timeout. So we have another timeout on the floor. Minute 23 to go. Looks like this game's dragging out here at the end. Well, that's the way it goes, mm -hmm. so. It looks like a, I mean, 14-point game, under a minute and a half to go. I don't, I think this, this, they just got to. Just say it's over. Yeah, it's just over. Just say it's over. They just got to <laughs> start <laughs> focused on next game. Say, just say it's over. Start focusing on next game here. Yep, so Saturday. On to Cincinnati. <laughs> I bet you Coach Fernandes wishes he was in Cincinnati <laughs> <Yeah>. right now. <laughs> Anywhere but here tonight. It's just, just, just a struggle on the <laughs> offensive end. No, I think it is actually. You know the pressure cooker is not that hot tonight. Maybe this is what's going on. Maybe that's a factor. They didn't turn up the heat tonight? You they think that's what it is? Yeah, exactly. Payhawks didn't turn up the heat. I'm they glad they didn't. It. I'm glad they didn't. <laughs> And Gia, you know what? When he gets the ball, they are draped all over him. They're like, yeah. they're not going to let, they're not going to let him beat them. Profone going to the rack, and he's nice. starting to get a couple drives to the basket. That's what I was saying. Where was this? Where was this kind of offense? This kind of aggressiveness from him earlier? See, that's the thing. I don't think they looked for him enough. I've he set him up more plays like that. As drive. Instead of just sitting at the three-point line. Well, I think a lot of times he's not looking to drive. He's looking no. to shoot from the outs, from deep. I mean, he's pretty good adjustments under that rim. So look for it more. Up. I would like to see Bristol maybe match up, you know, match up man a little bit more. Yeah. Throw, throw a little bit different looks. I mean, the 2-3 zone has been good. But at the same time, it, I'm it, not sure if they're, if they're confused at who to block out. Yeah. At least if you're playing man-to-man, -man, you know, like, listen, I got to block this guy out. I got to stop this guy from cutting to the basket. I got to, you know, you know who you're blocking out. And you know what your you know what your assignment is. Sometimes with the two three zone, you know things can slip through the cracks. And especially when Mass Base are making those shots anyways, deep in the shot clock, they're not really forcing too many steals. They had a couple runs where they got a couple steals in a row, but mm. other than that. But I give it to Bristol though. Mm. It's not like they haven't been defending the perimeter no. well. I mean, they're, they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, Mass Bay has hit some tough. They've hit some tough shots. Mass Bay has hit some contested deep balls. I agree with yeah. that. I just, I, it just, it's all about whose night, whose night is it? And uh, Bayhawks, just not Bayhawks night offensively. And then Mass gotta Bay, get the, gotta get the turnover. Yeah, Mass Bay, uh, there's enough. I would have liked to have seen this pressure earlier, and there's another foul. Yeah. And Hendry's gonna commit the foul, and I believe Nee and Tenji. The full I mean, I give credit, you know, I give, um, I give credit to Bristol. They're not they're not saying die yet. They could just let this game just go, but they are they're fighting. Ex extending this game. We, this you get a hope that you get a hope that Mass Bay misses from the free throw line yeah. though. That's the only thing. And gets quite a few steals. No, nope, there's a miss by Nian Tenji. Oh, no, has had a has had a good game today. Yes. Can we pick one of their players for the <laughs> Bayhawk? <laughs> Because it might be a little no, tough for our players. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. No, always always a Bayhawk player of the game. You might have to say it's the only. Oh, and Gia for three. Gets oh, it to nice. go. They needed that earlier. And cuts that to within ten. And that was a deep three. He just needs so to So Bristol space. extending this game down by ten, but still 51.9 seconds. I mean, right now, if there was at least a couple minutes, you could sell it. But I don't think we can sell it right now. No. 68 to 58, 10 point lead. I mean, especially in foul that's trouble. That's at least that's at least three possessions. Yes, and especially in foul trouble, you can't be as aggressive. I mean, it's well, you have to be as aggressive. Yeah. You can, you're going to have to send them to the line, and hope they miss. I mean, you got to foul them. But you can't you can't let time run up the clock. If you don't get the steal right away, you have to foul right away. You, you can't you can't let seconds drip off the clock right now. You get if you can't get the yeah. inbound, if you can't get the steal, foul. Off the inbound, you gotta you gotta know what you gotta know to foul quick. You but can't let too much time drip off this clock. You, the only the only hope you have right now is that is that the Bucks are going to miss free throws, and that doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. And Mass Bay knows that too. They got to foul. You got to foul right there. Oh, there's oh, a steal. Nice. You got to time call timeout. Out. You got to call timeout. Do they have timeout? And they get I the timeout. I t I said that they needed a steal, and if they didn't get it, you needed to call it. 
you needed to um to the foul, inbound. and they get the steal right up the inbound. So now, if you're Bristol, now you need to score quick. <laughs> you think that? I think they. You really have to score yeah. quick. You know. And it's tough. Because you get a score within five seconds. You yeah. need like a. I mean, preferably. They best case scenario, you need a three pointer. Yeah. Actually, best case scenario, you need a three pointer, and hope to get fouled. But, you know, Who next to that, you need a three pointer. Mm -hmm. Cut this to within seven. I mean, it's a, it's a long shot right now, yeah. but. You know. Who you haven't taken that shot, though? Anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have time to. Uh, Decide. You don't have time to, you know, hope, yeah. you know, try to set up one player and hope, well, you know, you just got to. Technical foul, looks like. What a technical foul? What is a technical foul on now? Oh, maybe they didn't have no timeouts. They pull a Chris Weber? And that, wow. that will do it. Yes. That stinks. See, and Mass Bay knows that if they foul, they're going to they're gonna keep the ball. They have timeouts? No. They did not have timeouts. That's got to be the call. That has to be it, because I don't think no one got fouled on that play. And that's the only thing you could say, because now, um, now it's white basketball, so I'm not sure what happened there, because I thought that, would it Mass Bay get the basketball back on a technical? No, well, if it's if it was their ball and they call timeout, it's just technical because they call timeout. No, they should keep the ball too, though. But that stinks. Mm -hmm. Now you tra now you get the ball back, but now you're down by more. Henry, Henry in the paint can't get it to mm -hmm. fall. Loose basketball. That might have went off. Yeah, in there. And it's going to be. And that stinks for the Bayhawks. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a long shot, but. Kind of dagger. Yeah, kind of a moot point now. Yeah. And Gia. Oh, Freeman. Going to the basket. The floater is good. Nice. Down 10. You get a foul. You get a foul. There you go. And that's it. And the writing pretty much on the wall. Pretty much on the wall here. 70 to 60. 32.9 to go. If you're the Bayhawks, there's some things you can, uh, some things you see not, that's pretty good in this game. You just got to build on it, and you got to learn from you your know, lessons. You always got to. Uh, defensively, I feel like they played a You always got to take out the good things, but yeah. I mean. Offensively, uh, I think you've seen some players, you know, go good, go to the basket. But you got to also realize you need to cut, you need to move around more. And defensively, you need to box out. Yeah, they're, they're not getting a body on, they're not no. getting a body on guys. Being out, phys out physical. Knee and Tenji hits the second free throw. 11 point lead. Got to push the ball. 32 seconds. Pufong. Pufong. Bounce pass underneath. Where was that for four? To be fair, Mass Bay might be letting up a little bit yeah, on defensively. Yeah. I think that would be That it. was Krishan Nairn on the last basket. Yeah. Bristol down by nine, but 18.5 seconds. I mean, this game is. That might be my pretty own. much in the bag. That might be my uh, Bayhawk player of the game, Naren, because I feel like he was probably one of a few bright spots. Saw some nice things from this game defensively. A couple nice plays offensively. Well, we did have Stanley Freeman as the Bayhawks player of the game last game, along with Chad and and Gia. Yeah, I just think they this is not their nights tonight. We've seen we've seen a, a couple bad uh, choices and some frustration from them. All right, so Christian Christian Nairn as our yeah. Bayhawks player of the game. I mean, I'm pretty sure Stanley Freeman is the leading scorer, but yeah, but how many shots has he taken? Like he hasn't. I feel like he wasn't. They're aggressive draped enough. all over Angia. Now right. he starts. Now, <laughs> now he starts hitting some contested threes. Figures that's how it goes. Can we play this game back? Right? Maybe he's starting to get going now. Can we play like another maybe, another half? Right. Maybe play another two minutes or something. Stay tuned for the third half, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, uh, 73 to 65, and Bristol climbing back into this, but it's going to be a little bit too late. 6.9 seconds on the clock, and Mass Bay been shooting free throws for an hour now. <laughs> Marshall like Martin, yeah, Marshall Martin going to line for two. He's definitely been a vital cog for this Mass Bay team. This looks like a basketball yeah. player. He has the length. He has a nice release. Yeah. Opposed. 
Yeah, he's got a good mid good mid range game. He can hit from the three. And he was going after. He can play. He can play on the. He can play on the inside. He can. He can face you up. He can back you up. Pretty good speed too. Yeah, quickness. Freeman all the way to the rack, and that's been the story of the night. That's been the epitome of this game right there, and that is going to do it from LaFrance Gymnasium. David Cardell's or Megan Holden on the call, and your Bayhawks player of the game. We're going to go with Chris Sean there, and yeah. you know, energy like like I said, energy guy. You know, A few bright playing spots. playing well on both ends. You know, again, not the leading not not the leading mm. score here today, but you know. I feel like that was definitely on the Bayhawks, um, definitely shows some promise. I feel like that's on the Bayhawks coming off the bench too. Yeah, the Bayhawks. I feel like they didn't look for him enough, but when he had his opportunities, I feel like he took advantage. Definitely did, definitely did, and had some uh, had some good rebounds on the inside. You know, had definitely had an inside presence, blocked some shots, but that's going to do it. Okay, seventy-four to sixty-five. Bayhawks will drop to nine and ten. They see their tournament chances. Slipping away here, but they will be back in action this Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. All right, Bayhawk, Bayhawk Grit. I want to thank our Facebook um, audience on our, Bristol, on our Bristol Community College Athletics page for tuning in, as always, here on Thursday Night Basketball. So for David Cardoza and Megan Holden and Steve Reese, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. Good night, everybody. <laughs>